Our moon is waning. It's decreasing in light and our new moon will arrive on March 10th, right around 4 a.m. Central Time. So the moon this month will be in the Vedic sign of Aquarius. Inside of this section of Aquarius, that's called Purva Bahadrapada. Now Purva Bahadrapada gives the Shakti or the power of transformation, of spiritual transformation. The symbol of this section of the zodiac is the funeral cot, and it represents that internal fire of transformation that all of us go through on this life and death journey. Now, this marks the theme for the upcoming lunar month. So anytime we have a new moon, it's a time when it will set up the trajectory for the next lunar phase. So this Shakti or power of spiritual transformation is imbued inside of this entire lunar month. This means that it's a beautiful month for you to tap into your spiritual practices, meditation, yoga, anything of the occult nature, such as tarot or um, intention setting, visualizing, and re remembering to cultivate it and feel it within the heart is heightened this month. As we continue to move forward this month, the energy is quite volatile at times. There's a lot of planetary interaction coming through the entire month, a lot of conjunctions, a lot of sign changes between uh, the Venus and then Mercury will retrograde and uh, Mars changes signs. There's a direct conjunction of Saturn and Venus. So basically what's going on this entire month is a supercharged time for you to wake up because we're leading up our next new moon will be the solar eclipse. Now a solar eclipse, this one that's coming up on April 8th is a very, very powerful time. And with that energy that you know is coming, it means it's a really good month for you to prepare and that energy of spiritual transformation is already imbued in this new moon cycle. So why not get things together? When you notice that there are challenges that are showing up with others, especially in relationship, realize that these are karmic patterns, emotional patterns that are ready to be released. So the energy of this month really allows you to step forward and to evolve. So let's see what the tarot cards have to say about this new moon. Okay, well, the first card that showed up is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is a card that depicts a woman who is the master of the suit of wands. So the suit of wands is a suit that is all about action and it's the energy of fire. So the Queen of Wands depicts a woman who is exuberant and outgoing and knows what she wants and sticks with it. It brings that energy of fire into this month as we are talking about that spiritual fire. And so it indicates that this is a month of action, of taking action and setting a goal and stepping forward into it. Now, this woman doesn't back down. She doesn't give up. So that means that even when things get challenging, you should still stay steady and keep going on your journey. The second card that showed up is the Knight of Wands. So once again, we have this fire element, this energy of fire. This depicts a uh, young man on a horse and on his tunic, there are all sorts of salamanders and those represent fire and transformation. It's a very fiery and transformative card. This means that if it's combined with our queen of wands, this indicates that this is a month where things will feel like they're moving really quickly. So he's also very outgoing and exuberant and, you know, has an idea and jumps on it and goes for it. But it can get a little tumultuous at times if you don't maintain your sense of foundation and sense of grounding. 
So these two cards, as they were pulled together, you can see as they were sitting next to one another, they are looking or gazing upon each other. She is looking at him. He is looking at her. So these two cards are interacting. This means that there's a dynamic blend of masculine and feminine going on this month as well. So tap into both sides of yourself when it comes to taking actions and stepping forward on the path. Now, finally, our last card that showed up <clears throat> is the Hermit. Now, the hermit depicts a man, a very wise man who has gone on this hero's journey, the fool's journey, has made it to the top of the mountain and is gazing down and really contemplating all of the wisdom that he has absorbed and created over time, over all of the journeys that he's been on. This is a card that indicates meditation and contemplation is key. It's a time to remember to look back and see how far you've come, tune into the wisdom that's within you to send yourself forward and project yourself forward. So it blends really nicely with these three cards together, the wands and the hermit. That energy of the wands is a powerful side of the wands. It's not, it's one that really is a key factor of stepping forward. And with that influence of the hermit, as the hermit gazes towards the, the queen and the knight, it really gives a sense of coolness to the fire to remember your roots, remember where you came from, and be sure to take the time to connect. So, this is a powerful month up ahead. I highly encourage you to tap into your spiritual techniques. My name is Tange from Evolve with Tange. If you would like some additional tools, take a look at my website. I have meditations and courses. I also offer personal tarot readings as well as astrology readings. So be sure to subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you soon.